Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Ready for today's video? So today's video, we are going to continue from our last video, which is LK325. Uh, so we're going to continue our last video. A lot of information, a lot of new things to learn. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't watched the video number 325, I will suggest you to watch that video first. So that way you can understand what are we trying to do. So in last video, I was sharing with you guys how to use the stamp, um, just a st one stamp and one die cut to create the all different kind of pattern air bloom. So um, a lot of information, you um just make uh, need to make sure to check a uh, check it out the video number three twenty five. Today's video actually I'm going to share with you guys uh, how to create uh, those kind of cloud um stencil. You can use it as a cloud stencil. Or you can use it as a digital die cut. You can decorate for expense. Uh, for example, this is the one I use uh, those digital die cut to create this one, and uh, but. Today's video is to share with you guys how to create this one. But to be able to do, um, to read the digital file, you have to have a digital die cut machine. Like uh, I have a quick cut and the air two, and I really like it. I think the, I think it's probably the cheapest one on the market. I pay 229 um, Canadian dollars and uh, I like it. I will, um, I would like to recommend it and then you can purchase from um, Michael's sometime they have a discount and then um, in the my coming videos I'm going to share with you with you guys uh, what kind of accessory that I found from the internet is much cheaper than you use the original quick cut like a cutting mat the cutting blade so today's video is going to share with you guys how to read this digital file, how to download to your um, quick cut. And uh, I believe a lot of you guys are new to the digital world, just like me. So when I create this video, I, I try to explain as a, much as I know, as a clear as I can. If you already know all those details, just fast forward. I think all my viewers, they like to uh, get as many as the information they can. So some great tips i'd like to share with you guys if you do find this video is useful make sure you subscribe to the channel and then give me a thumb up let me know always welcome all the comments just uh, um let me know and then remember this month's special promotion is a lease uh, up stamp set and then when you purchase a stamp you get a die cut for 50 percent off and the free shipping plus you will get a three free digital files make sure you watch the video number 225 to get all the information so that's the start today's video okay so you can get this uh, cloud digital uh, file for free if you purchase uh, this month special if not you can check uh, or category under the digital file for this cloud is only $2.99 and then you will get a jetpack file, PNG file, and SVG file. And then in my coming video, I will explain a little bit more about the how, what's the difference between all those uh, files and what it can do. So um, if you purchase this month special and uh, when I ship your order, I will send you those three files. But if you want to just purchase a digital file directly from our website, it's instant download. So you will see a cloud. Uh, once when you purchase that, uh, you will see the download link. Okay, so the first, you go to double click this zip and then um, to unzip it. After you unzip it, you will see this file. They is going to show you three. There's the SVG file, there's a PNG file, and there's a JPEG file. So we are going to do die cutting. So I'm going to explain what's different between these uh, three files later. But today we're going to just do the cutting. So when you click it, you will see there is the cloud and there is the SVG uh, SVG file, right? And then you are going to open your quick cut. So you're going to just uh, use the, uh, uh, you can do like a new and then you're going to upload. You're going to upload your image and then you're going to browse and you're going to looking for that place, the place that you download your cloud, right? So there's a cloud SVG image. We're going to open it and you can see here is our cutting image and we're going to upload it. And then you can see here is our upload and we're going to click it and then add it to canvas okay 
and then here is your three digital file and I make I try to make it a little bit bigger so that way when um uh, some some of the um, digital file the people selling on the market is so small and especially like for the cutting file it doesn't really matter for the printing if your pixel is too low when you zoom in zoom out they will change they are going to become blurry so I just make sure uh, my image when you want to be able to print I make sure they are um, the resolution is good enough when you zoom out they still um, looks awesome okay so this is the tree you can decide if you want to ungroup it or you want to just cut the one or two but I want to cut all three and this is just a letter size so we could um, choose make and then you can just uh, a little bit adjustment make sure they are right on top of your letter size okay good and we're going to do the continue and then they will send it to the machine and then later on we will talk about the um the the thickness of the paper I'm new to the digital world and I spent a lot of time to learning and then I found out if your um, die cut image is not very complicated you can use a like a heavy car stock up to 130 they can cut it but when you want to cut it like a very detailed image is going to be a problem special those kind of sentiment the connection is so fine and then you are going to have a problem so today the cloud is very easy we are going to just use the median car uh, car stock and then the pressure everything we just uh, choose the, the the same one and then we are going to just loading our mat and then we are so I'm going to just loading my mat and we are going to do the die cut okay so before I send my paper to the die cut machine I want to share something very important for you for your cutting mat you know some of the cutting mat after you use it for a long time they lose the thickness and I found out you really have to your keep your cutting mat in the good condition they have to be sticky for those uh, um, like a like a not a very complicated image that's okay but if you want to cut it like a sentiment um, those kind of detail intricate die cut you got to make sure your mat is a uh, is uh, like in the perfect condition otherwise uh, you are going to waste a lot of uh, your car stuff okay so I'm going to do this and I'm going to run to machine die cut I will be right back but I have something else awesome um, technique uh, awesome idea to share with you I will be right back okay so this is uh, my first cutting and look uh, very easy and then this one if you want to keep it you can keep it later on you can do something but uh, uh, I would suggest if you want to use the negative part of this stencil just uh, maybe just do one because uh, it didn't really give me enough room um, to do the blending so that's my first one I'm going to grab this one Okay, Oop. where is uh, my scooping? Okay, this one. Okay, see, that's uh, my cloud st uh, stencil. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, and then it can be using for part of uh, my car project, right? Okay, so that's the first one. And what is the great tips I'm going to share with you guys? So I have a few of the die cut here already. You can see, and you can see it kind of reflect, uh, ref uh, reflection, right? This one is not. I want to use the, my um, this stencil as many times as I want to. So I kind of want to make my stencil kind of waterproof. How to do that? There is a uh, few different ways. You can buy the stencil material sheets from the Amazon. They are not really pricey. Um, I didn't order it because uh, I don't think so. I need it because I have a lot of those kind of um, transparency projecting sheet so they can just work uh, they work just fine so you can purchase at least one they can go actually pretty detailed or you can buy those kind of stencils uh, sheets uh, from the Amazon or from somebody else uh, I think Amazon is the most easiest way if you are not happy with it you can return that right but the uh, I found out um, the thickness is uh, very important and uh, I haven't got a chance to figure it out but I found out they cannot go so detailed okay 
So, for example, like this life is uh, beautiful, right? This is too de detailed if you want to use those kind of stencil um, sheets. So, we will go to this one with the next video. So, how can you make your like a stencil become waterproof? It's so easy. So, you're going to grab a piece of car uh, cardstock. It doesn't have to be very thick, okay? And then, I'm going to just use the packing tape just kind of seal it it doesn't have to be like a perfect uh, um perfect uh, covering like i have some gap here it doesn't really matter okay so you kind of just uh, if you really want to like do the perfect ceiling let me see the bottom doesn't really have it well try to do your best and they can be overlapping too oh that's just to seal it okay like this okay and then for this on the side we can just uh, cut it or we can just uh, fold it that's just a uh, folded you know i'm kind of lazy so once when you do this you can use this again and again so i kind of create uh, some kind of waterproof right and we're going to do this again we're going to run to the machine we are going to die cut it and then in my next video you will see i'm going to use those uh, waterproof stencil to create those kind of cloud and then once when you create this one you can use again and again okay here is a one more awesome tip I'm what I like to share with you before we start to do a cutting. When you use uh, um, all different kind of thickness uh, cardstock, you are not sure is this machine going to do die cut. They have too many different kind of setting. I try all, some of them it just doesn't really work. So here is a great tip. What you're gonna do is you just uh, try to choose the uh, from the shape area, choose any shape you like. You are going to do a pre-cut first before you use your good paper to cut. Make sure it will cut. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time and wasting your paper. So I think that's a great tip. You should give a try before you're working on your final project. Okay, you can see my testing, it run, it cut it, cut it through, right? Just make sure they cut it completely. That's it. So I um, I think this one, I was set out with like a heavy duty, 100 pounds car star. You just want to make sure um, it will cut through. Otherwise it's some of the very detailed die cutting, it take a long time and then halfway, they just uh, ruining tear the paper and that's very painful. So I'm going to cut it, I will be right back. Okay, so it didn't really take too long to cut to cut it. And let's see, do we have a clean cut? Okay, there you go. So we have a clean cut here, almost. So now, oh, on the side, so it's a little bit too thick, but it's not really complicated. We can just uh, tear it down. So next time when you put your packing tape, maybe um, don't make it too thick. Just one layer is good enough. So you get what I'm trying to explain, right? So here is the, here is the easy one, but we can tear off, okay? So that's why I say, you know, try your setting, you know, always run a test before you, um, you have a final cut. Okay, so you can see this is my last um, cutting. I was just a color with a packing tape, and then this is uh, the the white regular car stock covered with a packing tape, but just be careful when um, I, in this, uh, like when I did this one, I kind of folding my extra cutting uh, 
the packing tape. So when I cut it, it didn't really have a clean cut. So it's a good idea just, uh, you know, try to cover the front and try to avoid that because you add the thickness. And then this one is just a plain car style. It's not a really thick one and it's kind of shimmy color. So in my next video, I'm going to share with you guys uh, um, some like a coloring technique and then this is the one see uh, that's what I'm talking about that I just uh, use this uh, this uh, cutting without the cover with the packing tape and kind of just uh, use it as a blending and then it kind of pick up the color so next time when I want to use it uh, I may be blending a little bit color on top of my final work so I don't want it so that's what I come out with the idea you can seal with the packing tape and then that kind of give you that protection coat and then you can use again and again so once when I create this stencil I can use it too many times and I think it's a very useful and then if you want to if you have some kind of clear um, like those com projected um, film you can use that too or you can purchase uh, those stencil um, sheets from the uh, internet so that's another option but I, I because I have a lot of these already and I have some kind of um, laminated sheets I haven't covered uh, I haven't tried yet but I know the laminate sheet uh, laminated sheets have a two side one side is a clear they definitely can do it the other side is a kind of like matte finish they maybe will pick up the color I will give a try in my next um, um, the other video and then I will keep you updated to see whether that work or not. So that's today's video and the, the next video I'm going to share with you guys how I use those uh, stencil, you know, your hand, handmade um, stencil to create a different kind of backing and then we are going to use uh, all, all those beautiful air balloon to complete our project and then there is a uh, Two, three more other video to share with you guys uh, how I'm going to use this up stem set and make sure you check this month's special and that uh, I think it's awesome deal and after you watch all those videos I'm sure you want to get the hands on to working on your project so this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp thank you so much for watching see you next time bye